Just for the record, I, Arlen McPherson, like this woman. You'll find it, you know. Find what? What about all the missing women in this town? There's a man in one of your upstairs rooms. Stop! Hands above your head, slowly. He doesn't go out on many calls. It's not real. He must want to keep his eye on you. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Animals got to him. That's not animals. It's Dog Island. There still might be some strays around. Is this our other American tourist? Yeah, that's him, all right. It's wheat to go. It's not a wheat to go, Thomas. There's no such thing. Stay on your meds, brother. What's a wheat to go? Nothing. They're human. What? The bite marks. They're human. It was him. I could see the bite marks. I mean, who else could it be? Can I join you? <sighs> Heard you found a body on Dog Island. Yeah, it was that uh, American tourist who went missing on the lake. It's some closure for the family, I guess. Yeah. Everyone's saying it's back. What's back? What are you talking about? It takes over a human spirit and turns them into cannibals, consuming everything in its path. It? Is this... Uh, is this more of that Cree folklore? People believe it's come back in the form of John Spence. Okay, who's John Spence? I don't want to talk about that. And this is dangerous territory. Was that about our body on the beach? Yeah, it is. Drowned? Gunshot wound to the head, self-inflicted. You can call the family, we'll close the file. Sure. Staff Sergeant, who's John Spence? I'm surprised you heard about that. Most people around here don't want to talk about it, they pretend it never happened. What did he do? When he was a kid, he helped murder another boy. 
He was the youngest one charged. Oh. An older kid was the ringleader. It appears that John was just led along. Still? No. It gets worse. Then children killing children? What can get worse than that? They cannibalized the body. Oh, I shouldn't have asked. It was, uh, well, ten years in secure custody. I have no idea what happened to him after that. He's back. Can I speak to you for a moment? Privately? All right. All of you can hear this. I'm sure you all know we found a body on Dog Island. It was a missing tourist. No foul play. His remains were partially decomposed, and yes, animals got to him. But nobody ate him. Okay? Be reasonable, please. I can hear it, but I can't see it. There's nothing moving. Just the wind. No, it's... I feel... Something bad is gonna happen. Yeah, everyone's talking about John Spence. How can people be so ignorant? It's not ignorance. My old man used to scare me with stories about the weed ago. Don't wander off. The weed go will get you. I'm still afraid of the dark. So you think it's true a week ago took over John Spence and he ate that dead tourist? Well, it wouldn't be his first time, would it? I'm just saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Get to bed, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I should warn him. Warn him, John Spence. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I'll help you. I'll show you where he lives. Now, come on, come back. You know where he lives? <laughs> yeah, I'm such a freak. coming? Huh? Yeah. Put it down. Doesn't work anyway. Is this about my release conditions? Because my lawyer told me I don't have to notify you guys anymore when I move. Is this your backup? Mr. Spence? I'm a free man. 
Ain't I? You could find some other place to hang your hat. You're in danger. Some people think you're a wheat to go. Now, why would they think that? We found a decomposed body of a missing tourist on Dog Island. Nothing to do with me. I know that. There's a lot of resentment about your past. I never did what they said I did. I was just there. I'd like to take you into protective custody. I spent ten years in protective custody. Still got beat up every day. Well, you're not safe out here. Lots of cops would just let them come and get me. Trust me, she's, uh, she's not lots of cops. Will you come in? I can protect myself. It's self-defense, right? Isn't that how a jury would see it? I don't think there's gonna be a jury this time. I'll take my chance. Where's Stanton? Personal business. His wife's having another panic attack. So what are you doing in here? I'm second in command. Do you need something? I want to bring in John Spence for his own safety. The kid eater? Why? He's going to get hurt. So what? He has an unregistered firearm. <laughs> You're joking, right? Do you really want this on your conscience, Bob? Well, we all have something. Don't we? What John Spence did was unforgivable. We should have taken care of him a long time ago, back when it first happened. Perhaps he's a different man now. His crime was a long time ago. Someone ate that man on the beach. It was way to go. What else could it be? Follow the dogs. They feel we to go the most. Their distress will lead you to him. He has to be destroyed before he takes another child from us. told not to put him into protective custody. I didn't. I arrested him. On trumped up charges. You defied orders, Constable. I'm sorry, Staff Sergeant. I did what I thought was best. It was a judgment call. All right. you have John Spence in custody? That's none of your business. Go home, all of you. Spence is a Wittigo. No, he's not, Thomas. It's an old wives' tale. It doesn't exist. And what do you know about what's real and what's not? You're a stranger here. Leave now, before you make this worse for yourselves. OK. Hey, you heard the constable. Get lost, all of you! 
We have a right to protect ourselves, Fenton. You know that. Yeah, and threatening a police officer means serious time inside, Thomas. You know that! So I suggest you all leave while you still can. <laughs> Move! Thanks, Bob. I'm just doing my job. Facts away. Guess what? Forensics couldn't rule out human bite marks on the deceased American. They didn't rule it in. Bob? Yeah. Got a sec? Yeah. Is this about John Spence? No. It was about your situation in Toronto. The reason you were transferred here. Yeah. Because of your involvement with the suspect, the criminal case was dismissed. So because of me, the snake walks? I don't know what happened in Toronto, nor do I care. If there's one thing I've learned in all my years on this job, everybody makes mistakes. God help us all if we forget that. I do believe in second chances, Tara. You just have to take them. Thank you, Staff Sergeant. Thomas and his mob plan to destroy John Spence. Why don't you just let them take the law into their own hands? The kid Spence killed was Thomas's cousin. Uh, well, that makes him all more dangerous, doesn't it? spirit enters someone, their heart turns to ice. So, if you want to kill one, the ice has to melt. Fire. Venton released John Spence. He was charged with possession of a firearm. Couldn't fire, so it's not a firearm. He's done his time. We're not babysitters, right?
there's nothing left. What'd you use, accelerants, Thomas? We never used anything. I want to know who set this fire. It was already burning when we got here. Don't play games with me. You find his body yet? Nope. There's no body in here. See? No body. No crime. No charge. But we didn't do nothing. We saw a fire in the woods, so we came here to put it out before it spread. You were standing around when I got here. Hey, hey! Get away from here. Don't touch that, you might get hurt. Did you see John Spence? Yeah, he was in there. I don't know how he got out. We're not arresting us, we're leaving. It's not over, Thomas. Look, you just make sure you find him. And then put him away for good, okay? Hey, Keenan! Come on, we're leaving. 